18th century studies at York is centred in what's called Keck, the Centre for 18th century studies that's currently housed in King's Manor. Very much a real community where graduate students and faculty mix, get involved in each other's research. My research, like those of my colleagues here at the Centre for 18th Century Studies, is really richly interdisciplinary, that we don't think about literary texts on their own, but the kinds of conversations and dialogues and contexts that they're sitting in. I'm currently completing a book on representations of walking in 18th century London. I have wide-ranging interests in representations of the city and the period. Teaching is wonderful. What I'm definitely enjoying the most about it is the fact that my research is so interdisciplinary and I'm able to draw from art and literature and music and different kinds of theory and I feel like it makes my research so much fuller. Something that makes the Centre for 18th Century Studies really special is that we have some incredibly eminent academics here but there's absolutely no sense of sort of standoffishness between them and postgraduate students so it means that we have an incredible degree of access to them all the time. I've just finished a book and it's called Unbounded Attachment sentiment and politics in the age of the French Revolution. It deals with the intersection of the expanding market for print culture, the language of sensibility and politics in women's writing from Mary Wollstonecraft to Jane Austen. The first book that I wrote, this is a book about crowds in the Romantic period and I found that often when people were describing how crowds react to one another they used images of electricity. I'm lucky enough to be putting together a, a master's module at the Centre for 18th Century Studies on representations of electricity. So I've been teaching it this term and it's been very exciting, the students have liked it. All PhD students have the opportunity to teach if they want to and I found teaching to be the single most exhilarating and stimulating aspect of the postgraduate experience. This 1760 to 1840s is a period I'm working on at the moment on what's called networks of improvement and what that's about is the way that various societies, associations and clubs were involved in the circulation of knowledge. I hope that students and scholars will gain from my research a new way of thinking about the way that women interact with the questions of sociability and conversation that have preoccupied scholars of Romanticism in the last decade.